This year's prize is about how the optical microscope became a nanoscope. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2014 Nobel Prize in Chemistry to Dr. Erik Betzig at Howard Hughes Medical Institute, Ashbourne, uh, USA, Professor Stefan Hell at Max Planck Institute for Biophysical Chemistry, Göttingen, and the German Cancer Research Center, Heidelberg, Germany, and Professor William Murner at Stanford University, Stanford, USA for the development of super-resolved fluorescence microscopy. That the theoretical limit... If you want to see living things, you must use something which does not destroy the sample and by normal light. And that was said cannot be done, basically. So now with these three laureates here, it has been possible. Now we can see inside living cells, we can see how molecules interact, and we can start to learn how, how life is, basically. So it's a completely new... Uh, breakthrough in, in, in seeing chemistry, let's say. Well, it, you have you start to look into diseases dealing with the brain, Alzheimer, for example, and so on, uh, and and fundamentally to know what is actually happening uh, will of course tell uh, medicine or pharmaceutical chemists uh, what is the real problem, chemical problem, and how can you then uh, do so. It, it it's handed over, let's say, the information is handed over to to uh, other chemists who can work on, on fixing things.